welcome back so in this video we are going to turn our EC2 instance into a web server if you remember in a previous video I created uh, we we hosted a static website if you remember so <coughs> where it is let me let me see if I can find that video web hosting static web hosting that was the video we uh, we made an s3 bucket into our static web host but uh, now we want our ec2 virtual machine we want to it to be a web server so, so let's get started and try to make that uh, we're gonna go to our ec2 and it's quicker from here <coughs> okay <coughs> I'm gonna connect to this one via the instance connect and there we are so just like uh, I in the previous video we talked about uh, yum update uh, we made sure that this instant is fully patched now we're gonna install the um, to make it the web server we have to install uh, Apache Apache is the web server that turns any machine into a web server so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install yum uh, sorry yum is the command which tells actually sudo yeah you have to put sudo uh, so it make sure that uh, the, the command you're gonna run will have uh, admin privileges uh, yum and install and the Apache name is HTTPD and hyphen y for yes now you can see that it's going through uh, it's it downloaded unpacked installed and it says complete here now to <clears throat> we have to run that service the service installed but it hasn't run in just like in windows where you have to turn service to re restart it or stop it we're going to start it so we see service httpd start <clears throat> redirecting start fail to start the name maybe it's sudo service httpd start and we started so basically it failed because I uh, <clears throat> it, when I gave the command I did not uh, put sudo in front of it so it was just uh, not going through with the admin privileges you can run sudo space su and after that you all of your commands go through as a admin I try not to do that I try to you know as long as I can I will try to avoid that only reason is that uh, sometimes these uh, commands are unforgiven they unforgiving they once if you run something that you were not supposed to the damage is done so it's a lot more hassle and work to go and remedy that and uh, next uh, we're gonna see we, we actually want to if we run ls we have just one file so basically we have this is the root of our virtual machine but the apache server the root is actually slash var slash www slash html so hmm, what happened cd war <coughs> let me see cd slash ah oh, there are four w's cd that's why i was saying var slash www slash html and you can see right here I'm in the HTML directory so that directory is basically the root folder of your Apache server that is when navigating to your public IP address it will look for the index uh, file if I press LS there is nothing actually in there so we have to create a file an index.html file in here that is displayed when somebody access our uh, public uh, IP address uh, there are a couple of ways we can use either um, 
uh, we can copy paste an index HTML into that directory or we can create it so let's go create it quickly we can actually use nano and index.html and here uh, my first language that I learned was HTML uh, so and it was way too fun back there body h1 hello this i am imran slash h1 and slash body let's do that <clears throat> hopefully uh, my code is good it's <laughs> it's I hope um, so I could I could put title in here as well but let's go let's uh, see if everything is good why and enter permission denied that is bad I think uh, I should have put a sudo there uh, no or maybe it's something else permission denied what control X yes file name to write index.html Again, per permission deny. <clears throat> so, let me pause this video here. Actually, before I start doing some research, what just happened? Control Z. I am Imran. Let's see, control. Is there a copy? Cut text. Mm. Control C on my keyboard, and I can exit, and I can type in sudo su, and now I can try nano index.html, and I can paste it. Control X, Y, and enter, and I believe that was it. So. <clears throat> if I put a less now, I have index.html file there. So it means that I had to be a sudo user to write into that uh, HTML folder. Uh, super user, sudo stands for super user. Uh, so let's go and uh, go to our um, public IP address and we should see this text. So my public IP address is somewhere here. Private IP address, public IP address, copy, and <coughs> that's taking longer than I wanted to. So something is not right. <coughs> Let's go back here. That's the IPv4 public address. And it's really, really taking. Hey, wake up. Let's go. That's not right, it's just keep going. I'm gonna pause the video and I will show you the end result, what happens here. So that's the end result. I I think uh, it could be port 80. 
let me go and check that uh, let's go and uh, mm, security groups where, 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 status check I believe it has something to do with those uh, so security groups and it's part of EC2 instances note the security group launch wizard 2 view inbound rules so yeah port 80 that's why let's go to uh, this launch wizard 2 security group launch wizard 2 this one and where is the good edit button that's only for the name and nope inbound rules <clears throat> can we add inbound rules uh, HTTP port 80 custom is open we add rule and <clears throat> save it security group rules the source needs to be a cider block for our security group <clears throat> which rule this one or this one <clears throat> excuse me let's go add rule uh, HTTP and anywhere oh that's why how do I get rid of this last one right there save oh and, and it's saved now let's try to and I have my web server I was, <clears throat> that was it I'm so glad and you can actually see that there is no space in here and there is uh, the, and the other thing is the beauty fit as soon as I add that uh, uh, security group rule allow it takes effect instantaneously I love this <clears throat> so that's how you turn an EC2 instant into a web server if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one <clears throat>